Ramesh Spacek salary is input through the keyboard. His Dionys allowance is 40% of basic salary, and house rent allowance is 20% of basic salary. Write AC program to calculate his gross salary. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you all are good and fine. So today we are creating a program to calculate the gross salary of a person. So to start our program, we have to use a header file include stdiu.h. So it's a standard input output file. So this file is used to use statement like get, sports, print app, scan app. So these are inbuilt functions of this library. So if I show you, so here you can see in my code block, I mean GW GCC library, we have this header file studio.h. If we open it in, sorry, wrong editor, uh, add plus plus. So here you can see these are some inbuilt functions get ch and so on f gets. So these are the functions. So we don't use, uh, we don't require any mm, function to write over here from this library. It will fetch all the functions from this. Like uh, in HTML, we use CSS reference link in HTML page. So we don't require to assign styling for every single tag. So, we, this is similar process. So, here we again write the main function. If you don't write this main function, so your program will never execute. So, we have to uh, write a function, exactly a one function. Uh, if we don't use any function, so it will not execute. Uh, and uh, if you, your program has a function, a single function, so it should be main itself, nothing else. So for this, if we use int main, so we have to return something like return 0 for integer value. If you don't use int integer function, so we can use void, and here we don't use. We don't we didn't require this return function. So here I am using int and return. So this is the pro body of program, and here we have to use uh, data types. So variables. Sorry. So here we are. Uh, we are declaring float variable because uh, our salary could be in form of uh, floating like uh, 25,000 rupees and 50 pesos. So it may be different and for DNS allowance like 40% 20% it uh, its value could be in decimal point. So here we are creating all the variable in float terms and for declaring the variable we have some standards like uh, we can't use uh, uh, any special symbols like uh, ampersand, dollar, and uh, has, and hyphen. We can't use these special character in variable name. We have to use. Uh, uh, we can't start our variable with the underscore. And uh, there is only one symbol we can use for the uh, for our variable name, which is underscore only. And uh, so let's take our variable name first is basis salary so here i am using underscore for separating the word allowance yeah it could it could be dearness allowance so i shorted this word and sec the third one is uh, House rent, I think. House rent, yes. So, house rent. 
and uh, final value gross salary so these are the variable we will use so here we are using from predefined function which is printf so this is statement is used to print the uh, message over the terminal we can write any message here minister that enter basic salary so user will enter their basic salary and it will calculate their gross salary so it will return the string like enter basic salary over the screen if we execute it let's see how to run the server yes enter basic salary so here we are not receiving any input from user because we can't we are we didn't use get his scanf so scanf is used to receive input from user it is uh, for standard input output devices so these are function for standard output devices and this is for standard input devices standard input devices would be like keyboard and mouse and standard like printer or monitor screen so scan f uh, will receive so for floating variable we have to use percentage f here and for integer we have to use d and for character we have to use c so for long double we have to use uh, login for ld and double for d like this so every variable have their all their own uh, their own syntax so we are using dot the we are declaring is as percentage f and then we have to assign them mem uh, input values address of basic salary so here m percent is used for addressing the variable so it will store it will store the uh, input value to the basic salaries so now we have basic salary we have the value of basic salary let's calculate the address allowance so to calculate the address allowance we have to write 40% my right 40% uh, let me check 40% and 20% so we can write 40% as like 40% like 40 upon 100 and we can write like 0.4 also so let's calculate it with the basic salary and for house rent we have to write 0 0.2 that's like that basic salary so here our dns allowance and house rent has been calculated now we have to merge we have to add these uh, allowance to the basic salary then we will get our gross salary so gross salary will be basic salary plus dns allowance plus house rent and now print this gross salary over the terminal uh, let's uh, display all the values like dns allowance and house rent along with gross salary for the screen so here i'm creating so our basic salary was basic salary basic salary so it will display basic salary and like let me copy this for time so dns allowance okay and house rent and then we have gross salary 
so it will create it will display all the values over this terminal D allowance we have to declare the variable over here it will print the values of variable over the screen process let me check let's execute the program and write we have sell so as you can see we have 20,000 gross value but uh, the structure of output is not looking good so let it so this is called new line character it will create a new line uh, before this basic cell and we can use one more thing which is dollar t so t is for tab so it will uh, it will append your basic cell uh, to the right uh, with the eight spaces i think tab is for eight spaces so i am not using tab i'm using n and a space so it will create all the string uh, on every single line after every single line so let me check yes now it is fine but here we are getting more numbers of zeros six zeros yes so uh, for rupees we have we can use only two zeros so let's remove all the zeros after second place so for this we have to use this point two so it will it will keep it will kept only it will keep only keep only uh, two numbers after decimal point so let me close this and open it. And now, if we enter our so yes, now it's fine. So it is looking good. So here you can see, and if we write uh, another value like if we have thirty thousand salary, then if we have thirty thousand basic salary, so our salary will be forty-eight thousand. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.